guys, welcome to Nene's Prepping Kitchen. Um, today I'm doing a challenge in what is your iron rations for SHTF? Now, iron rations are um, a little food kit that you put away for if you have no other choice. Okay, and you take this and you know. Um, the soldiers just to bury them and, you know, uh, have it somewhere where they knew this, <laughs> you know, just put it away for, if you have nothing else, okay, this right here is going to boost your morale um, to the fullest, for sure, just to know. And uh, the movie and book that I am basing this on, well, not basing, but is the Book of Eli, a great movie. Okay, um, his mission is to get the Holy Bible to a safe spot, okay? And um, he says, you know, that you should uh, walk by faith, not by sight. So if you haven't had a chance to watch this movie or to read the book, um, go ahead and do that because it is a great movie. Now, uh, the book of Eli, he come down to where he had nothing to eat but a bald cat, a hairless cat, I should say. Um, you know, I'm sure it would have been great if he would have had a um, iron rations for SHTF. Um, but he did share he did share the cat um, with a little mouse, so. but it is a great movie, or they do have it in paperback also, which I do not have, but we do own the movie, this is the movie that we've watched several times. So let's get to the morale um, rations here, iron rations, and I'll show you what I put in mine. Um, I actually put in there a can of Dinty Moore chicken and dumpling soup. All you gotta do is flip the lid to get it open. Right here I've got a can of chicken noodle soup. Same thing with a flip can. And also a can of smoked Vienna sausages. I also put it in my iron rations, a ground salt, and a ground pepper grinder, I should say. Um, back here, I've got some avocado toast. Um, these actually came already in mylar bags, uh, so I do believe I will keep that in there. Uh, but this uh, crunchy baked rice crackers, which, hey, you know, in a SHTF situation, that is going to be the best thing, you know, you've ever come across. Here, I've got some little packets of Taster Choice coffee, instant coffee. Um, back here, I've got some packets of hot cocoa mix. And the wind is going to start to blow, don't you know it? Here I've got a packet of the dehydrated marshmallows that I made. And I went ahead and put those in some mylar bags. Over here I've got um yeah, the dehydrate I'm sorry, what was that? Dehydrated marshmallows. Here I've got some dehydrated banana chips that I made and uh, so I decided that I would put those in some mylar bags as well. How great would that be though, you know, when you have nothing to um, eat whatsoever and you've got, you know, these to put in your stomach. Um, here I've got some honey. Um, and over here is some Werther's hard candy, which I also put 
in the Mylar bags to keep it longer. Um, so this would definitely boost your morale, uh, put your stuff in your iron rations box or whatever you have, um, any kind of container with a lid, um, this here, put it away, forget about it, don't touch it, it is going to be there if you ever need it, um, and you all have your iron rations for the SHTF, so, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, um, if you did, make sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, uh, if you haven't already, and chicken irons, rations for SHTF, um, and, uh, do like the book of Eli, and walk by faith, not by sight, and, uh, let God do the rest to get us through a bad situation, but if you have something put away, like I say, and just forget about it, don't touch it, store it away somewhere where you know it's going to be safe, um, and, uh, if you ever need it, you can go get it, and it would be a morale booster for sure, you know, in a really bad situation, I'm sure, so, anyway, guys, <laughs> hope you enjoyed the video, till next time, to live, God bless, hope y'all have a great one, bye.